welcome to my channel. Today what I'm going to do is to give you some inspiration, provide you with some alternative ways in which you can transition those pieces into fall. My word for it is to fallerize them. <laughs> Never mind, it's, it's not going to be a thing. I really hope you find some inspiration from them. As usual, you know that on here, the current mantra is fabric, fit, and style. So regardless of whether or not I've had them for ages, I would be breaking down the fabric composition of my items for you and give you little tips and tricks so you could be more environmentally conscious when it comes to pieces that you own. So let's get to the video guys. So this is the second piece I am going to follow right for you today and you guys must have seen it in my last video. So as you guys know, this is a piece I found under my mom's bed. Check out the videos in that series to see all the items I found. And I really love it. I'm not ready to put it away. I, I love this, this broadery angle piece, guys. I love this on site. It's 100% cotton. I love these gorgeous buttons, guys. I love it. Check out my videos for the way I style it there. But now, polarizing this requires that I absolutely and guys this is how I actually wear these pieces if you see me on the street you're likely to see me looking like this I'll be using the sister of that rust colored high-waisted pants that I just showed you you guys know when it's nice I do it twice so I'll be of course using the light version so one of the great tips is to definitely when you're layering try to layer something that is very similar in terms of weight so these are two very light pieces so that way they don't appear too bulky and I'll be using this Gucci-esque looking jumper and I'll be polarizing the dress with this piece as well and of course Fall is normally the time to really, really bring out your duster coats. I still have all of my duster coats. I, yeah, I did not get rid of them. And I'll be using this piece today. This is a piece that I got from Misguided. Yes, and yeah, it's 100% polyester. So not the best, but you guys know, I'm very transparent, so I'll tell you as it is. It was bought about two years, two seasons ago. No, two years ago. You guys would have to check out my video for the date. And guys, you would also see that this piece, this waistcoat is a piece from Zara. Uh, it's probably about four years old. And this would also be a common feature in here. And of course, none of my videos would be I wouldn't feel right without including belts. Belts are my favorite accessories. So these would be featured quite, <laughs> quite often in this video. So I love to double belt and that's how I style it in and the last And of course, as I mentioned before, these bags would be featured as well. So this is how I style it. So for this first look, I am really trying to bring out the orange in the jumper. I love the combination of green and orange. So I'm styling the jumper over the dress because this jumper has great details in it. And as I mentioned, I wanted to bring out the orange and as much as the details as possible. As you can see, the Yellow is definitely on the dress palette as well. So it's really, really complimentary to this dress. I love the way it brings life to this dress. 
and of course this is a dress that is a button down so you can undo the button as far as you possibly can just to give a peek of the pants underneath it and you might think that you'll be cold but I wasn't because it's Ollie fall so it's a great Ollie fall look Sorry to interrupt guys but just a quick note hi guys if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos and most importantly guys it's free Thank you so much for subscribing. Love ya. Let's get back to the video. So I know everyone's tolerance to cold is not the same. So for those who get cold pretty easily, this is where the waistcoat comes in. And you can wear this in mid fall, depending on your tolerance level. For me, I would love to think I'm becoming acclimatized to the cold. Canadian winters <laughs> but I do get a bit chilly at times but I do love this look and as you have learned the jumper as well as the waistcoat are mixed fibers you guys know mixed fibers are not ideal for the environment because the synthetic part of them take over 400 years to biodegrade so it's always best to use natural fibers only buy an item that is more environmentally sustainable and friendly so for this particular look i'm just styling the dress alone without a belt for those who are not belt crazy personally i feel so naked if i don't snatch my waist in but definitely to each their own and my channel is pretty inclusive so I like to include and cater for everyone so I am now introducing the duster coat into the mix and I really really love it as you can see it pairs so beautifully and it matches almost to perfection the pants which is by the way from forever 21 the fabric is 100% rayon and rayon is biodegradable. Oh my god guys, I really really love the way this looks. I love the pairing. Absolutely gorgeous. I definitely hope you find inspiration and look into your closet, see what you find and valorize your clothing items. The necklace is definitely add a great touch to the look. I love the way they pair with this particular pairing. So as you guys know, the duster coat is 100% polyester. Polyester is one of the most destructive, environmentally unfriendly piece of fabric that was ever produced. and it's everywhere it has taken over the fast fashion industry and guys it's definitely not my cup of tea <laughs> i do not like this fabric in particular but the goal is to definitely wear your pieces to death today i'm pairing it with this white toe boot from aldo this boot oh my god it's about 18 are 20 years old guys and as you can see the trend has come around again love i really hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one take care guys thank you guys so much for watching and as i always say remember to always love yourself and to accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique and gorgeous love you guys Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.